All right, so this is for Management 566. Aisha and I are gonna play the role of Sal Granger, who's president of Ma Magnetic Advances, and then Lance will be playing the part of Chris Carlson, who's president of Audio Components. Um, so we're just gonna get right into it. So first of all, I just wanna thank you for taking the time out of your day to meet with us. Uh, we really appreciate and look forward to making a deal with you that we can both agree on, so let's just jump right into it. So as you know, Magnetic Advances was originally presented with the opportunity to do detailed book to research on this concept at the time, um, which is about three years ago. Um, this concept would originally um, start off as a magnetic component that would evolve into the D25. However, our engineers in our division weren't certain about the technology at the time. So due to the ADL's concept that would be developed, we decided to forego it. And I guess the opportunity was passed on to audio concepts. Um, however, now we have been, I guess, given the charter to sell externally. So we're really looking forward to securing the Z25 technology in our division to further gain more profitability for the company as a whole. So all in all, I think that our division, uh, Magnetic Advances, could be to step in the right direction to really get exposure and profits out of the Z25. What do you think? Uh, absolutely. Um, I want to thank you for uh, also taking the time to meet today. Uh, to discuss the uh, Z25, and I think your your division is is more equipped at your specialty, the magnetic components, mm -hmm. to market and sell the Z25. Um, we did spend twelve million in three years uh, to develop it, and we're just looking to, you know, recoup our our investment and and some profit. So if you don't mind me asking, um, like how much is your profit currently just selling internally to everyone else across Altec? Well, we, we estimate, we ran the numbers, and uh, we estimate uh, it's, a, it's got a two-year uh, shelf life mm. of about $55 million. Okay, so that's, that's not bad at all. But um, So we kind of ran our numbers, too, and we estimate if we can sell it externally that you know, we'll be almost able to double that. So I think you guys will be able to make a really good profit off of that as well if we like, you know, build up this partnership. Okay, that sounds good. Uh, what what kind of offer did you have in mind? So as of right now, we're really open to making the negotiation and the deal. So we're considering both ends to make it a uh, fair compromise. Ideally, we're looking to meet to an agreement instead of having to get management involved. As you know, uh, the CEO made it clear that a pattern of kicking up decisions to corporate would be disadvantages to managers' careers in each division. So reaching a new mutual agreement would be in both our best interests. So at this time, um, do you have any idea of what you're looking for in terms of the transfer price as well as any profitability that you're looking for? Well, um, actually, we, we, we ran a couple numbers. We uh, came up with a, a bunch of figures. But I, I like to keep it kind of simple. Mm -hmm. rather than get into percentages back and forth. And I know there's some discussion on how long we want to keep it internal as opposed to you guys want to sell externally. It does have a two-year shelf life. Mm -hmm. And so what I was sort of thinking it over, my proposal is an outright buyout where you guys just take control of the product and from day one you could hit the ground running and we don't have to negotiate back and forth as to how many months uh, you got to sell internally, then switch to externally, because it does have only a two-year shelf life. That is very true. <laughs> so, so if, if you hold off for a year, that, that's a whole year your competitors could get you know, an advantage. Right, and we understand that. Now, with the two-year shelf life of this product, have you guys been doing any internal development, research, or testing to improve the life of the product beyond the two years? Are there any advancements being done in place of that? Well, as of right now, we're, we're ready to market and hit the ground running with it. So what you're saying is you haven't done any testing beyond the two-year shelf life? Correct. Okay. So that would be something that we would have to, I guess, put more investment and money into really securing it to go beyond that to your lifespan to increase profitability as well. Well, yeah, you guys do specialize in magnetic uh, components. That is and correct. So that's why you guys are probably better suited to further, um, could probably market it better and sell it better. No, that's true. 
And I understand that you did spend the 12 million in the original three years that it took to develop and research this product. So I understand you're probably looking to recoup the amount that you already invested in there initially. And I guess from the profits that we'll be securing with the Z25, uh, we'll be cutting you a piece of that as well. Well, that's why I just perhaps proposing just a total total buyout and you guys just take over the product. Maybe okay. sort of like we estimate $55 million lifetime profit plus $12 million in the development. And then we guaranteed a five year five million to to buy the product. So I'm proposing maybe just seventy million one shot deal buyout. And you guys can hit the ground running and you don't have to sell internally for six months or twelve months and then externally. You could just start marketing and selling from day one internally or and externally. Which I think will help you guys out a lot. Um, so, I mean, that's a, that's a really good deal. And, you know, we're definitely going to consider that. Um, but however, we kind of ran the numbers too. And we think that, you know, you can help us gain a profit if we, you know, stop selling it from selling from your competitors for six months, then you guys will be able to also sell it at higher prices, which in turn, like our, our profits combined would be end up being higher than just us selling it externally and just giving you guys a 70 million so if we, you know, if we work together to sell it and like block it off of the competitors it's going to be a closer to you know maybe like a 150 million profit overall and then you know we would give you a percentage of that as well so the transfer price would end up actually being lower um you know we would definitely consider a transfer price like maybe around like enough to cover everything that you guys put into it, but definitely like 12 million, but then give you guys a bigger cut of the profit and possibly give you guys a future discount when you guys are purchasing um, Z25 internally. Because if you guys, if we just give you guys a 70 million, then we're not going to be able to give you guys a discount on Z25 when you need it for your own products. And we make Z25 at a much um, cheaper cost because I think our variable costs are, are lower than yours. So, I don't think it'll be as advantageous as partnering up and, you know, s splitting. It. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so what do you have in mind then? What, what's your, uh, as far as 12 million for the development cost, plus what are the terms as far as the marketing or selling internally versus externally? So we would, um, hopefully, yeah. Leanna, do you want to go over that? Yeah, so before we actually jump right into those numbers, I just want to get a sense of approximately how much a year would you be estimating spending on the Z25 from us? Like, what order quantity do you think you have in mind? Uh, I was approximately $5 million over the two years. Okay, and were you considering, like, looking for a discount when you're ordering from us over the entirety of the transfer price? Uh, we were... We consider uh, a fifty percent discount. Fifty percent. Okay. So, I mean, we can consider that. However, we were considering something a little bit on the lower end, I and mean, fifty percent is quite up there. We're not sure if that'll yield enough profitability for us. So, that's something we would have to um, discuss amongst ourselves. But we're definitely willing to make that negotiation. Um, would something along the lines of maybe like fifteen percent be something you're looking for? 15%. Um, I'm just checking some numbers here. Okay. Sure. Is that on the first 5 million? What if we, we're estimating 5 million over two years. What if we um, purchase more, say 7 to 10 million? Would we get a higher discount? Well, we're just looking for an estimated figure as what as to what you're probably looking for during the first few years. So, like you said, two years you're expecting about five million. So, if your needs change to like seven million or ten million or whatever the case is, um, that's something we'll have to work out with the discount. Of course, we're looking to make the profitability, but at the same time, you can't extend such a discount where the profits will be in there. Yeah. Unfortunately, um, year to date, as of last year, you guys purchased about seven million from us. So 
to say that you guys are going to only purchase five million is already a little bit lower. So we can't really <laughs> give that much of a couple we're just, discount. We're just being a little conservative. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so okay. Um talking twelve million plus a fifteen percent discount. Now, how long do you expect us to extend this discount for? Is it just for, let's say, two, two to five years, or is it, like, continuous? Uh, we just estimate over the, the shelf life of the product, because after two years, right? basically there's been a lot of competition. But every time that you reorder, are you going to be expecting a discount as well? After the two years? Correct. Sure, why not? <laughs> but keep in mind. Well in Go ahead. Uh, um, we do collaborate on, on uh, other projects, so I think fifteen percent standard discount would be um, would be pretty fair. Okay, we'll definitely give that consideration. Um, but we just want to understand exactly. Like, I know that your needs are probably going to be changing throughout the course of the years. So, from going to five million to seven million, ten million, whatever it takes for however much you want to order, we just want to make sure that there's profitability all around. And as you know. If each division has profitability, the entire league of the company is doing well too. So we just want to make sure that the company is benefiting in our best bets. Absolutely. Um, that's what we want. We want a win-win on both sides uh, so we can do business in the future. Exactly. Cool. And then how much, um, how much of the profit were you expecting to get out of this as well? We're already giving you a fifteen percent discount on, you know, purchasing it. Well, we estimated that the total profit could be fifty-five million over the, the shelf life. Okay. And that's if you guys just sell it, right? Correct. So right. assuming that over the shelf life, with our help, um, there's at least a hundred million in um, profit. Where where do we stand on sharing that with you and splitting it? Because of course, you know, you guys did develop it, and you know, we're really looking forward to making a good deal with you guys. So we just want to get your feedback on that. Okay. Uh, well, um, it would all depend on after two years what the competition is looking like. That's why initially we wanted to offer just a total buyout mm -hmm. so that you guys can hit the ground running with it. Right. But when you're mentioning like the total buyout, I mean, aren't you afraid that your competitors are going to have access to this? Um, competitors of LTech as well as direct competitors of your corporation too? I mean, wouldn't it be at a loss for our profits and wouldn't that create less competitive advantage on your end? Well, at $55 million plus plus the 12 million that we already invested, we could take that money and start researching and developing other products that we could um, collaborate with on in the future. Okay, so of course this means that if audio components are suffering in profitability, if we're just exposing this product directly in the open market, does the entirety of LTech as a whole, specifically referring to the V5, also suffer? I mean, when we're looking at it this way, is that we're introducing the product to the open market. So basically, any competitors of LTech, including any of our divisions, would have um, access to these products directly. So wouldn't that create, I mean, a disadvantage? Yeah, I don't think the managers would, you know, totally go for that. They would be pleased with this deal because that would open the competitors to gaining access to the same inform uh, information that we have. And then, you know, that would lower our overall profits, like LTEC's overall profits in the end. So I think managers would, you know. Um, I mean, do you have, that. like, specific limitations that you're willing to explore when it comes to releasing this product to us? Um, I think that that would probably be a better case for us. Like, for example, taking on, like, a six-month period where we can't sell to our direct competitors. Would that be something you'd be willing to consider um, during the initial run? Well, if you, if you don't want to go... For the total buyout, um, how would nine months sound to be able to sell to externally? We were hoping more around 
six months. Again, we don't, those extra three months could mean that we'd be losing profitability. We just want to have that trial period of six months where we're able to really test it out and get a feel for how things are running internally before we expose them to competitors outside externally. So we just want to be yeah. able to Okay, uh, that makes sense. Um, so, so what would be your final proposal? Then? So, I was thinking, what if magnetic components produces twenty five and is prohibited from selling it to audio direct competitors for six months total? So six months plus the twelve million that we spent in development costs? The development costs overall for the three-year period. Okay, and um, and 15% discount? So, we would have to discuss the 15% discount. What do you think? Um, I think, I, I think it's a better idea if we can offer you maybe a 10% discount but also give you, um, so you at, least tough. at least half of, um, <laughs> half of the profits, <laughs> half of the profits that we receive. So we kind of make around, um, like 14% of, of the profits of all the external sales. So if we give you around six, 7% of that, how would you feel? That's half of what we make. All right, you know what? Because I'm in a really good mood today, and I'm feeling really good about this product. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we like to hear that. <laughs> I, I think that's something we could work with. Okay, so does that mean we've reached a mutual agreement then? Absolutely. Okay, awesome. So I guess our final agreement is that we're going to go for the six-month trial period where we can't sell to audio store competitors uh, for the Z25. Otherwise, I believe we'll be able to sell internally, though, correct? Correct. Okay, and I believe we should be able to meet that 10% requirement for internal sales, knowing that so many of other, other divisions within the company rely so much on the Z25 um, technology already. So there's no doubt in my mind that we'll be able to secure that deal and really make the profits for the company as a whole. Mm -hmm. And okay, we're going to the profits, which is kind of half of what we make as well. Yeah, plus that we do specialize in magnets over here at um, our division, so we'd be able to produce it cheaper anyhow. So it would be a less of a burden on your divisions and if you were to produce it because you would be putting more time and effort into development. So, yeah, overall, I think okay. that's a fair deal. Yeah, I think it's great. I think it's a win-win, and it worked out. Awesome. It was a pleasure working with you. Oh, you too, Sal. Take care. Future. All right. Okay. <laughs> Bye. 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 Bye.